question number 32. Solve 4w squared plus 12w minus 44 equals 0, algebraically for w to the nearest hundredth. So before we go into this whole process of solving it, what we're going to do is we're going to say to the nearest hundredth means two decimal places out. So make sure that you round out two decimal places. So if I look, I can actually solve this in a variety of ways. I can solve it by using quadratic formula or completing the square. I'm going to use quadratic formula. You don't have to memorize the quadratic formula. It is provided for you on your reference sheet. So we're going to go back up. And this is what we're going to use. If we look, our equation is already written in the form 4w squared plus 12w minus 44 equals 0. So everything is set equal to 0. So I can actually identify my a value, my b value, and my c values. So if I look at this equation, 4w squared plus 12w minus 44, I need to identify my a values, my b values, and my c values. So if I look, my a value is the term attached to my w squared. If I look, I have a 4 attached to it. So I can say a is equal to 4. My b value is the number attached to my w. In this case, it's a positive 12. So I can say b is equal to 12. And then my c value is the number hanging out by itself. If I look, it's a minus 44. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make our substitutions. We are going to find out what negative b is, b squared minus 4ac is, and 2a. So negative b, b squared minus 4ac, and 2a. So negative b is simply going to be the negative of your b value. If you look, your b value is a 12. So the negative of a 12 is simply negative 12. Now, b squared minus 4ac, I'm going to take my b value, square it, subtract 4, and multiply it by my a value and my c value. So our b value is going to be 12. My a value is going to be 4, and my c value is going to be negative 44. And we're going to just type that into our calculator. Parenthesis 12, square it, subtract 4, and multiply it by your a value and your c value. Make sure it's written correctly, and you get 848. Now, we're going to find 2a. 2a is going to be 2 times your a value. In this case, your a value is 4. So 2 times 4 is going to be 8. These are the numbers you substitute. So I'm going to just rewrite your quadratic formula. In this case, we have a variable of w, not x. So I'm going to say w. So w is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, we can say w is equal to, we know negative b is negative 12, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which we found out was 848 all over 2a, which we said was 8. So now we can break this up into two separate equations or two separate expressions. We can say this is going to be w equals this And we just drop the minus, and we can also break it up into this.
where we have a w equals negative 12 minus radical 848. All right. So now we're simply going to type this into our calculator. So I'm going to do alpha y equal enter. I have negative 12 plus the square root of 848 all over 8. And I'm going to hit enter. And that's going to give me w equals 2.1400. I want to round to the nearest hundredth. So I want to stop right here. If I look to the right, I have a zero. So I'm going to keep this as w equals 2.14. That's one of my answers. Now I'm going to type this into my calculator. Alpha y equal enter. Negative 12 minus the square root of 848. All over 8, I hit enter. And I get a fun decimal. w equals negative 5.14, zero, zero. I want to round to the nearest hundredth again. So I put my line here, look to the right, it's a zero, so this is going to stay as negative 5.14. And that's your final answer. So that's how you'd solve this equation, by using the quadratic formula.